Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on my Anycubic Predator. So I wanted to do a few updates on this printer now that I've done a bit of work to it. Um, I obviously, I have Clipper running on here with Clipper screen. Um, I would have really liked to have used this uh, front panel here. However, my ribbon cable is a bit too big for it to fit in between the extrusions. So I'm gonna have to basically kind of print like an angle adapter here, um, but that's fine. Everything's all set up and working and I'll take you over the wiring here really quick. I'm super happy with my choice of mainboard for this printer. The SKR2 fit perfectly. It's almost made for this printer really. So, I actually didn't have to change any wiring. I didn't have to cut anything or do anything like that. The basically the only thing that I had to do was I had to repin the end stops, which you'll see right here. These are the three end stops here for the ABC motors. And this basically just uses a different uh, layout essentially. Um, the SKR2 board here, it has power ground signal where the Trigzilla or whatever board is in here just had a different ordering. So I literally just unpinned them, repinned them in the correct order and it worked perfectly. The end stops are fully functional and clipper. Uh, stepper motors all plugged in like normal. Everything's totally fine there. Basically all the power connections too were on the exact same side as the original board. This board even had the same mount spacing for the standoff. So I just needed to mount it on this side. It's not actually mounted on this side, but there's no weight on top of the board. So it's completely fine. I didn't have to 3D print a mount or anything like that. You can definitely print one if you want to. I am using the probe port on the SKR2 to run my, my level probe that comes with the um, Anycubit Predator. So this stock probe is fully working. Uh, I may or may not replace it. I haven't uh, actually done a delta calibration yet. But that's all working in Clipper. I will be putting the config file and a link to my remix for the effector, which we'll talk about. All that will be uh, available on a GitHub that I'm going to create for this printer. Just if anyone wants my config file or any information on what I'm doing to this printer and can kind of follow along and, and stuff like that. So, so yeah, wiring uh, really straightforward on the SKR2. Very, very happy with that. I have uh, mounted my Raspberry Pi 3 here. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on one of these. So that's just mounted in there with a, uh, I'm using a Voron V0 mount. It's the double-sided tape style mount. So. I mean, if it already exists, why why not just use it? So I'm just using some VHB tape and I double-sided taped that right inside. There's plenty of space in here for the Pi, which is really awesome. And then I'm just running it to my SKR2 and I'm running it to the uh, clipper screen here. So I would really recommend if anyone's doing this mod to a Predator is try to get an HDMI screen. Um, and see if you can find an HDMI screen in this three and a half inch size or get a really nice IPS like five inch screen and just make a nice angled mount for it here. This here I already had. It's a really low quality. It's not IPS in the slightest. It's uh, the viewing, viewing angles are crappy. I don't use this screen. It just has a hole for it. So I figured I have the part left over. Why not use it? And it will look kind of neat when it's all completed and look a little bit factory, so. <clears throat> but really, other than that, for the wiring, uh, everything is really, really straightforward. All of the connectors work perfectly. The only addition that we're going to have to do here is the actual um, fans. So the hot end fan and the layer cooling fan, they share a power cable. So both of them run off of this uh, yellow power cable. And then these are the actual different pins here. So like for instance, the blue wire here is for the um, hot end cooling fan. And the red wire is actually for the layer cooling fan. So I'm going to have to unpin this and I'm going to have to make 
two separate pins here with a shared power so that I can control that. And once I get this running with clipper, like actual printing, I'll probably go over that connector again. So let's move over down here to the effector. I have uh, got my Rapido in here. So this is an actual remix I did of an effector that's already on Thingiverse, which is really, really awesome. I will link to the creator in the description below here. So essentially I just remix this so it ha now has a rigid mount uh, effector for a Fadus hot end. And then what's happening here is I'm gonna have an adapter that bolts onto this and it's going to actually mount my mainsail or my sail fin, sorry, um, direct drive extruder. And it's gonna sit right on top of here. And it, this is gonna be fully direct drive now, which is really, really awesome. And again, the great part about this effector is, is it uses the existing parts. So I'm using the 40 millimeter hot end fan and I'm using the two 4010 layer cooling fans. I have the ducts all printed out, everything like that works excellent. I am gonna be re reusing the existing bolts that bolted to these uh, ball lens there, so that'll all function. It's nice I get to reuse all the wiring and then like I say, I do actually have, there is a mount here for the magnet so I can run the uh, existing auto level probe. So very, very minor hardware changes to this printer and I'm very, very happy with the choice of mainboard. Honestly, I think if you're going to be converting a Delta over to Clipper and you have to replace the main board. The SKR2 is a really good option. It's also very nice and compact too. So it fits in uh, to the spaces very, very well. And I like that it has a two pin probe port. So it's really nice for deltas that use a um, little end stop switch as its actual uh, probe. So those are the updates there. I am just waiting on a NEMA 14 for my main, for my sail fin extruder. Otherwise, this printer would be printing. Um, like usual, I gotta play the, the waiting game for that one. But yeah, that's kind of a, a quick update on the printer. Like I say, clipper configuration is done other than a calibration, which I will do a video on that once I calibrate it. Um, the clipper screen here, as you can see, is working actually really, really well. This is just a really cheapo screen, but like I say, the, the actual opening here was already made for it. So it's really nice to have that. And I will make kind of like an angular mount. So this does tuck in kind of nice inside slightly and just have uh, a nice angle there. I haven't changed the heated bed uh, MOSFET or anything like that. I'm leaving that all the same. And uh, yeah, other than I'm going to have to cut the end off of this here so that my um, NEMA 14 motor will work. The wire is going to be a bit too short for it. But other than that minor wiring change, uh, everything is going to be, like I say, relatively straightforward. And if there's anyone else doing these mods to a Predator, um, just comment below. Uh, definitely willing to help you out with that. You can join my Discord. I do have a dedicated Delta section on my Discord. And like I say, I will eventually make a GitHub for this mod so that people can take a look at my uh, config file there. And uh, yeah, this printer is homing everything like that. Uh, all the motion is working and stuff. So all I basically have to do is mount the effector, pop in the sail fin extruder, and do a Delta Calibrate, and I hopefully will be able to start printing on this. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. Look out for more videos here on this Predator. We're not done with this yet. And then also, there is going to be an update coming shortly for the Carbon Core uh, mods that I'm doing here. There's a little preview for some people who maybe watch to the end of the video. That is the new Carbon Core frame. So thanks again, everyone and uh, appreciate all the support.